Hello everyone, Dylan here with my first LEGO Star Wars uh, 2022 review. And this one is on a Snow Trooper Battle Pack that is as of now being released. So on the front of the box here, we have a picture of everything that there is and that interesting new border for 2022 where it's like just the green building there and the little stripe there and minifig Darth Vader down the corner. Um, at least different version, unlike how we're on the top part of it, but at least it's it's all right. But, that, but anyways, well, all right, box design. Although I do kind of like it on the strip on the top, of course. But at least it's all. At least this good as is. But anyways, uh, got the two logos, of course, and a picture of all the mini things included. And then recommended ages is six and up. Set number seven five three two zero has a hundred five pieces. See interesting side design box art with uh, of course new symbol there. Yeah. Now on the back is another view of Seth there and how to shoot the new uh, stud shooter Disney logo and. Lego.com slash Star Wars, and yeah. And that is it with the box. <coughs> and on to the manual, which, just like the Duel on lore set from the last Summer Wave, where it's quite small and everything, but yeah. And see, same picture, same stuff as on the front of the box and all. And on the back, on a win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. Add for the Skywalker Saga game. Add the main picture of the set again. Then add for both the main sets of this Winter Wave and also some hot sets. That's uh, or recent hot sets, of which kind of repeat ads, kind of odd, weird, but whatever. And then the last building step. Of it. And also, you know, see, it's a lot of like fully completed version, completed set that there is. And of course, just like with most sets, like recently, it has this little progress bar there to there. Not like it's necessary or whatever, but yeah. Oh, also, first couple pages of which, add for the instructions app, of course. And then use my stuff. <coughs> so first off for our main thing, so is we get of course the four or three snow troopers or newer snow troopers. Oh, which quite detailed. So, some good torso like printing, of course. So, I see all of which the same, but except for one with a longer blaster with a candlestick piece on it, and and whereas the feet, whereas for the uh, masks, of which quite similar to past ones, but done still done well. An interesting thing with each me fig of this set is. That all of which have unique face prints to them. So at least they're so at least now they're getting it right. Not using the angry clone face. So since of course clone troopers, snow trooper, and stormtroopers and all, oh, it's not the same thing and all. But yeah, an interesting thing with these snow troopers and not sure if these were used on other sets before, but whatever. But as you can see has not an only backpack part of it, unlike earlier snow troopers that kind of did, of course, but besides that, I mean, back torso printing done quite well. But also to mention is the all new uh, hot scout trooper, which is, which as you can see, has same exact helmet piece as recent scout troopers, but, and also of course, has great 
instead of black, kind of suiting to that of stuff on Hoth, of course. But besides that, the torso print like prints done quite good. That and also the back torso printing with that little tube thing going into it, quite also interesting and whatnot. So besides that, good minifig selection and also good way to get the and also first time of getting the hot scout trooper, but then, yeah. And first off for the builds is this mini gun turret, which as you can see is four or three uh, alien conquest blasters that are held onto this thing, giving it the tripod kind of feel. And a few various pieces making a, a, a small black for them. And also on top of it is the all new 2022 stud shooters there. Which some say might be as good or even better than the past stud shooters. And, and of course how this usually works like is if you tap on this thing, it launches right off. So... At least it's about as much good as the re past stud shooters. And do I of which kind of like it? Yeah, quite a bit. So, and of course, much easier to push on that instead of like reaching farther down or whatever. Yeah. And what else to say? Not much, but yeah. At least nice to have. And next to it, do you get another little speeder bike? Uh, for your scout trooper fig, which, as you can see, is quite similar to that of most speeder bikes that we've oftentimes gotten, but except it does have that little indent or forward ish kind of piece, like we've seen on some uh, speeder bikes in the past in recent times. So, then of course, the gold bar piece in tan there. And also, like some of which, and unlike some of which, do have this, like, little control panel thing. And also, what's a little different than others is that the handlebars do kind of swivel in and out, since there's those bar pieces there. And still using a megaphone piece on the side, probably to represent another blaster on it. So in this front area, one first and only time of there of like these corner pieces and the round plate pieces used for that but yeah and also that part of which does have these couple vent things there and also a couple of landing gear for, for that and a little bit what's a little different than most of which is of course has that little piece there and enough to slide your scout trooper onto it Oh, it's making, or on, or you can, or just slide in like that, and of course, let them grasp on. Oh, whoops. Oh, hang on. Oh well. But anyways. So done quite well. Oh, and also good use of those good use of snock with these uh bricks or these plates over here and yeah. And last of which is this little section, which is just a little section of hot or snow barrier of hot. Which as you see mostly ton of jagged slopes and besides and what's hidden is this little clip that holds the binocular things of course. And, but also mostly white but does have three great cheese slopes which I think maybe another great cheese slope could have been on one of these studs here but whatever. 
in the core do you have six studs there enough to fit one of your snoop troopers onto a course and then also as a couple of different corner pieces put to some good use to that so of course this set does also work out as a good parts pack for jagged slopes and all And what else to say? Not much, but but of course, if you get a bunch of this set, then you can just plot this in around to make a neat Hoth diorama or display, or add to your Hoth display mock or whatever. And so now on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict on the set is, I think it was a quite good set for what is like first time of getting the hot scout trooper and also all new uh, stud shooters to be received in for the first one for the first time and yeah, even though a few sets of this current wave also does. Well, besides that, like do get three good uh, snow troopers and also. Of course, and with the uh, base build, get plenty of good jagged slopes there. So both an our battle pack and army builder, of course. But twenty dollars and twenty dollars for the set, which is kind of steep for that. But and of course, I'm sure we can all uh, get used to this. Of course, unlike with the twentieth anniversary set from a couple of years ago, or and also of course with the like. Uh, 501st Jubers uh, set from a couple of years ago as well, but besides from that, it's still good as is, despite the $5 increase, but yeah. And if you're looking to get this set free to start off your 2022 collection of which, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to expand your Hoth dioramas or mocks, of course, also definitely pick this up. And if you're looking it's looking to get some different diversity of like scout troopers in your in your mini fake collection. Also, definitely pick this up. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.